my dear students so this video basically i am making for a very uh, this is this will be a very brief uh, introduction to simulate a permanent magnet in comsol so basically we are going to design a different type of electromagnetic pump where the inner rotor the inner rotor will be rotating using electromagnetic induction okay and that inner rotor will be totally enclosed because there will be no insertion means uh, no part extruded part will be penetrate out from the volute of the pump entire the rotor the rotor will be made of some uh, ferromagnetic material and it it will be completely enclosed and that rotor will rotate through uh, electromagnetic uh, through magnetic induction okay so that means it is uh, say this is the this is my outer magnet and this is the inner material so it will be this inner inner ferromagnetic material it will be getting magnetized and when the outer magnet is rotating this also it will rotate so with the inner part inner inner rotor the pump impeller it will be connected okay why it is so because uh, when we are uh, when we will be dealing the hazardous liquid hazardous fluid so that time it is very important so just i'll go, i'll give you an introduction so uh, this is this part is the magnet part okay so these are the magnets these are the permanent magnets this part this part these are the permanent magnet and you see here this is the air gap so this gap is this gap and this gap this is the air gap and this hazy part take another color so this part this part is you see it is completely enclosed so this part is a material with very high permeability so that and 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 the inner rotor so this part this 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 and this this is the normal ferromagnetic material and with this here the pump shaft will be connected and uh, impeller will be connected so that if now what will happen due to this permanent magnet due to this permanent magnet this also getting magnetized okay and this will be locked with this outer magnet magnetically coupled and locked and if the now if the outer magnet is rotating so the inner part also inner ferromagnetic material part also will rotate okay so this is basically the concept so why this simulation is required because we need to do the experiment that which material will be most suitable that very effectively the inner rotor is getting magnetized and it can deliver the deliver the more torque okay that means what i am telling if this this material this material permeability is less then if this shaft required some torque so it will not move because this is not directly coupled it is coupled magnetically by magnetic force okay so this air gap and the permeability of the casing that is very important so we do several we need to do several times of simulation by changing the material to select the material so for that i am showing this uh, simulation okay so this i am going to do in comsol i'll show from the beginning so you open the comsol <coughs> so this is the main interface so i am going to model wizard 
and we are going to initially finally we will do the 3d uh, simulation but it will take much more time so to conceptualize how to uh, do the modeling and apply the boundary conditions so i am going for 2d simulation you select this one now we will go for this the module which you are going to use that is magnetic field with no current okay then i am adding it now we will go to the steady it will be a steady state analysis so that's all okay now here is the geometry so i'm converting it is going for this is millimeter so now exactly what we are going to do i am going to show you so say this is one this is one permanent magnet and say this is one air domain so how the magnetic line means magnetic flux how it is distributed based on the permeability so it will be like this it will be like this okay it will be like this so that only we are going to simulate here so first i am going to the geometry and i am selecting a rectangle and that i am deciding say it is 6 mm by 6 mm one small permanent magnet okay and this i am keeping it at, at center and build selected okay so now what we will do because it is it has become a just boundary so i will go to the geometry and i will go for the transform sorry i will go for the conversion i convert to solid so it's a it's a solid material so i am giving it it's a name as magnet so say this is the magnet permanent magnet okay so this name i am giving permanent magnet okay now i am going to define the ar boundary so say this is ar so this ar i am defining the size of it is 20 by 20 mm say so it is 20 by 20 mm but here one more thing if we need to define in the boundary one infinite layer otherwise what will happen this all line it will be terminated here like this but actually it is not actually it is it will be it will be like this somewhere infinitely it is rotating okay that field line otherwise if i define here itself boundary then all the line will uh, it will be continuous over here okay at the boundary so to get the exact thing we need to define an infinite domain okay so again this i am doing center and i am going a layer say layer i am giving a 2 mm thickness and at all the boundaries okay so now if you see you see now these are the infinite infinite layer okay so now in the definition i am going to definition and here you see infinite domain it is there and i am selecting this this all are infinite domain okay now i will do one thing i will now go to now i will select the i will select the material so now this material this because entire thing is air so i will find out air from the library so you see this air liquid air gas i am adding it so now by default entire thing is selected as air now whichever i will uh, apply that will be uh, overridden automatically okay 
so now i will add the i will add the uh, so i will go to again because i will from the material i will add material from library i will go ac to dc this is the hard magnetic material so from here anyone you can select this is just for our testing so i am selecting this okay now you see it is asking so here i am asking it is asking which one so this one is the my best things so it is selected okay so now my ar and which one will be ar which one will be infinite boundary everything is selected okay so now i will give the a magnetic property so for that i will i will select this magnetic flux conservation so this is let this is for magnet so so this my magnet part is this one and it is solid okay and it is relative this magnetization model we are going to use this one okay limited flux density okay and my, i will i will find the flux density through y axis means my line should be rotating like this so i am giving here through through y axis okay now i will for for to get the things converged what i will do i will add one more thing that is point and zero magnetic scalar point it will be because it's a one kind of boundary condition it will be very easily this solution will get solved okay so i will select that and now this is the this is the selection box so i'll select this point okay so more or less now my model is over now i i'll go to the mesh it should be physics controlled mesh and let us do these things extremely fine because this meshing whenever the detail about the meshing i will be telling you to get the solution converge very quickly when we will be doing the uh, uh, 3d uh, we will be solving the uh, 3d model okay but it's a simple just to tell you what are the boundary conditions and uh, the way how it is to be done so i am giving it's a very basic example okay now i am build all you see now now my mesh is created now i am going to the study now i am computing so it will take some time so this is depend on your computer your computer or laptop ram so it will solve undefined material property magnetic okay so again what are, what is the error just let me see okay so here so we'll see the ar oh here the permeability is not there so what we'll do just we'll go here we'll do the uh, user defined okay and the the user defined the ar relative permeability is 1 okay now try to solve it you see now here you can see this is the now this is the, this is the how the magnetic as i told if you can see clearly it is not terminating here it is still going towards infinity so now 
for that we can see now we can see that red color is giving the a magnetic flux density so we will we need to calculate the force and how much torque is required and my uh, what should be the magnetic flux density in the required to rotate uh, the pump so those are the things we will be calculating like this using this concept so this is a very basic example that how to model a permanent magnet and find magnetic flux density so with this because you need to remember all the boundary conditions and what i, I have applied here and how to model it after that finally basic, uh, we are going to model these things first we will do it again we will do it in 2d model then we will go for the 3d model okay that means this permanent magnet how magnetizing this ferromagnetic material and here this is the air this area is the air which having this area and this area is the air which having relative permeability of 1 and this area is some hard material and we need to select this material with some high magnetic permeability so that this ferromagnetic material get very quickly magnetized and can give more torque to the pump impeller so this is our target so i hope this video will be useful for you uh, to my student not only my student and also the people who are dealing with permanent magnet thank you so much thanks for your patience